We all want children to eat healthy, but in a world where it's easier and quite frankly, sometimes tastier to eat things that are quick, out of a can or bag, or have harmful fats and sugar, teaching our kids to make healthy choices can be difficult. That's why it's important that they learn about developing good eating habits young, in the place where they learn almost everything else, school. A quality farm to school program exposes children to a variety of healthy foods that believe it or not, they're willing to eat. It is so important to teach the communities, even starting with these young students, how to grow their own food and empower them with that knowledge to carry home and carry home throughout their lives. Farm to school programs can include one, incorporating local farm products into school meals, two, offering local produce during snack time, three, growing school gardens, four, taste testing local produce, five, taking field trips to local farms or community gardens, and six, inviting farmers or chefs into the classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about number three, growing school gardens, and how teachers can incorporate gardening and local food into their lesson plans. While it's important to provide children healthy food at school breakfast and lunch, farm to school isn't only about what students eat in the cafeteria. It's also about what they learn in the classroom lesson plans that incorporate hands-on activities around gardening and local food while meeting state and national curriculum standards can be implemented. Maybe a, a class that's doing math and they can ask, bring the students out there like we're gonna plant these every five inches, you've gotta dig the whole three inches. Strong community partnerships can help teachers find new and interesting ways to incorporate the school garden into their class lessons. The Federal Hawking School District in Stewart, Ohio, partners with the local nonprofit Community Food Initiatives. Community Food Initiatives offers so many different types of programming that work well with the farm to school efforts. Um, I focus mostly on school garden initiatives. So we are literally going into the schools and taking kids out to their gardens and teaching them lessons. Once the children experience the garden and watch food growing from seeds, their curiosity takes over and the learning opportunities are endless. When they see these things happen from the very beginning all the way to fruition, it really sparks um, an enthusiasm and an interest that you don't see when you just give them the piece of kale and they don't know where it came from. You know, starting at the very beginning from the teeny tiny seed that they plant and then watering it and monitoring it and recording its growth and all the way up to the end when you actually get to taste it. It's just being part of the whole process from seed to fruition is really something that the kids get excited about. And the children are willing to give some new foods a try, even ones that their parents may not like. When they tell their kids they don't like a certain potentially healthy fruit or vegetable, their kids are gonna grow up thinking that they don't like it either. But talking about healthy foods at school and examining how they are grown helps reduce the fear and negative stigma around certain types of fruits and vegetables, while giving children the understanding and confidence to be willing to eat those foods when presented in a fun and interesting way. Community Food Initiatives also takes the program from the classroom at school to the kitchen at home by spotlighting a locally grown food each month and offering it to school children and their families. The program called Harvest of the Month encourages the entire family to explore healthy, locally grown food. Sweet potatoes were one food that was highlighted. We provided a recipe for sweet potato black bean chili, which when you maybe say those words, kids aren't super excited about trying, but when they are actually part of the peeling of the potatoes and the cutting and the cooking and the putting together, they have a little more ownership and they're excited about trying it. And we heard from parents that they were really liking it and we're really surprised at that. Partnerships are key inside and outside the classroom to building a successful farm to school program in your school district. You can find more information and resources for building a successful farm to school program by visiting education.ohio.gov and searching for farm to school.